This may look like a regular ZX Spectrum, but it's nothing but. Inside it is a ZX Spectrum Next board powering it. And I will now hook it up to an HDMI monitor and show you it running some old games, some new games, demos, and some of the technical aspects of it. So I'm gonna start by playing some good old favorites. Why not Nightmare? There you go. As you can see, it runs just like the original. But that's to be expected, right? We couldn't make it the next not to be fully compatible with the original. But let's not stop at the game. Let's try a very good challenge, like this demo. Now, this demo uses timings to extend the image to the borders. It's using border effects, like games like Aquaplane and so on, to extend the, the video. Now, this is such a hard demo to run, even some emulators cannot do it. It's a testimony to Victor and Fabio's ingenuity that they, the Next is able to run at such a precise timing in the ULA that it can run something like this. So this game was so slow back in the day that very few people managed to play it on the Spectrum. Let's see how it looks on the Next. very low frame rate as you can tell, but if I turn on the acceleration, all of a sudden, yeah, this is playable now. That doesn't mean that I know how to play it, <laughs> but nonetheless, the frame rate is, well, makes it possible for you to play the game. Let me try something else that I'm actually decent at, let's say 3D Star Strike, a typical 3D game for the Spectrum. So this is how we used to play, and we loved this game back in the day. But if I accelerate it, the sound keeps running just fine, gameplay is just fine, it's just the frame rate that goes up. It's incredible. I, I, I was. I always assumed that some of these games would be unplayable if you just accelerate the, the Z80, but actually no. It's uh, much more fun and much more interesting to look at. You can also do Star Strike 2 because I know some people keep asking this on Facebook group. How does it play? So, let me show you how does it play Accelerate. There you go. Again, very playable. One of the original games that we couldn't play back in the day. Performance just wasn't there for the Spectrum to run these games. But now, we can do it. Now that we know that the next can run our old favorite games, better than they used to, let's try something else. Let's try to make the next run them better looking than they did. So this is Cybernoid 2, and one of the games that allow you to turn on the enhanced color modes. There you go. This makes the game look much better than they did before. There you go, colors that we didn't use to have originally, like oranges and... But it's still the same game. And I'm still suck at it. This is the accelerated version of Robocop 2. Again, it plays bad accelerated. Here's a game that should totally get a remake using better, better graphics and ah! 
that change is just amazing. I'm playing it in an accelerated mode, by the way, because the frame rate gets better. <gasps> but also means it's much more harder to play. You can tell that the sound is slightly more high-pitched than the original. This is how it used to sound like and play like. Not sure about you, but I prefer this mode. I think even the sound gets better, if I'm honest. Homebrew. The Spectre is alive and well. Games continue to be made for it. This is a 2015 game. And not only is great, it plays very well thanks to accelerated mode. Look at how smooth the graphics are. Let me turn it off and you'll see that now things got slower, less frames and so on. But with the accelerated mode, the scrolling is smooth, the characters flow just like in the best parts of the game. It's surprisingly playable. This is Doom on the Spectrum. Not very many people saw this. But, uh, of course, with the next, not only we can play, but we can crank up the best video mode available for the game. Another important aspect to mention uh, is the HDMI out. This monitor is HDMI connected to the HDMI output. Could have been VGA or RGB, but I'm using HDMI and the audio also comes out of the HDMI. Although I could connect an audio output here to uh, home theater system or something like that. 